Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats. We're going to knock out one more question here today. Uh, this kind of ties into the last question that we that we answered before. Um, again, one of the very common questions we get is uh, w explain the advantages or disadvantages to riveted boats versus welded hulls. And uh, so I, I usually start this, I like to give people unbiased examples so you can kind of get a, vi a visual. And so boats and airplanes, they, they have similar characteristics in the fact that they have to flex, you know, because they're under stress. Um, there's a reason that you never see welds on an airplane wing. And that again, because when you're in turbulence, those wings have to flex. So you always see rivets. Rivets flex where uh, weld seams do not. So, um, so to kind of tie that into the boat, if we, if we take a welded hull, here's the, the biggest issue with a welded hull. Um, so when you weld a hole, the stringers have to be welded to the bottom skin. And so you have weld seams all the way across. And because welds don't flex, when you're, when you're under stress, that aluminum is going to flex around the weld, like so. So you'll see, if you look on the underside of a welded hull, you're going to see what I call buckles. Um, but what that is, it's basically just lines that come across where the, where the aluminum flexes around the weld seam. And so that's, I guess, my biggest issue with welded hulls is you're never going to have a uniform hull with a, with a welded stringer, and that is just because welds don't flex. Um, and I'm not saying that there's not quality welded boats out there. There, there are. I'm just saying that the best way to, uh, to bond aluminum together that is under stress is with a rivet. Okay. Now, I do want to say, too, not all riveted boats are created equal, because I will say there are cheaply made riveted boats, okay? Um, but, you know, Lund is not in that category. So what Lund does is they, they, again, we double rivet the seams. A lot of it has to do with the quality of aluminum and the quality of the rivet. They use aircraft-grade aluminum rivets. Um, they double rivet their seams. Um, and just in the materials that they that they use, uh, and again, I've said in the other video, Lund is really not trying to build the cheapest hull. They're trying to build the best hull possible. And uh, and there's just it's it's um, definitive that the best way to bond aluminum together when it has to be under stress is through a rivet. Now it is less expensive to to weld boats, and that's probably why you see a lot of welded hulls because it takes less time. There's less labor. It, it can be a machine can weld now. So uh, whereas rivets, you you have you have manpower that has to do that. So um, that that's where the cost kind of comes in, the, the cost difference. But um, hopefully this kind of helps answer that debate, I guess, between welded and riveted boats. Um, I, I guess I hope I covered that well. Um, and again, other questions, guys. We're we're here to try and um, and and take care of any questions that you guys have. You can message us anytime. And thank you very much.